left it. And then if we go into the um, the fruit cage. Um, I know there's lots of weeds in here. I'll be doing this next week or well at the weekend. Um, all our currant bushes are doing really well. So we've got red currants, white currants. Um, that's another white currant there. That's a joster berry, and that's a black currant. Um, the black currant and the joster berries aren't doing as well, and that's just another black currant there. It's a blueberry. Quite a lot of fruit on. Um, so we're pleased with that. And then I've just bought this gooseberry. Um, because I've got that quite cheap and then um, I've got my two gooseberries there and they've got quite a, quite a lot of uh, fruit on as well and then these are all strawberries and they're all coming in so I'm being followed by the girls they haven't had their corn yet so they're following me um, so I've got absolutely tons of um, strawberries and they're getting massive and then the trees didn't get any don't, doesn't, no sign of plums on that or pears. Raspberries are doing all right. This plum tree got lots of um, blossom on, but there's probably only about 10, 10 plums in total. But we didn't get any last year, so that's a bonus. Raspberries doing really well, so I'm pleased about that. And the apple tree didn't get very much blossom on, but I think there's two or three apples. They're Bramley's. And this tree has got this like fungus and I'm not too sure what it is. It's all along the branches. But I've just noticed when I've come in here, there's another bit of blossom on. That in the background is Tom playing around with his, uh, his new strimmer. So he loves it. So that's the fruit cage. And obviously this is the, this is the um, girls uh, run that they're in like all day and there I've got some bushes and that in the run um, so everything's out it's looking really nice so this is their run that's their little play area that they're never playing I have uh, seen one of them venturing up the ladder but not really they don't really do very much in it so that's the run so they've got plenty of room for during the day um, and then I'll let them out at night when we come down. Nothing in these. These were the ones that I was using for the um, potato beds last night. But uh, last year, but I haven't put anything in there this year. Um, some garlic in there. And then in here is all my um, brassicas. So I've got kales, um, broccolis, curly kales, black kales. Um, and then I've got some cabbages as well, and then there are berry, like our berries, blackberries, got them right the way up the trees. Um, so that's good. So that's this area, and then obviously got my rhubarb, which is great. And then this was a border that had some onions in and some wildflowers, but nothing's really doing very well in there. And then this is. Um, this was where I had all my Swiss chard and everything last year and uh, I've got a few onions in and then at this end I've just put some salad crops in because we're going to actually redo the pond area um, this year and Tom wants this bed to put all of the, the mud and the plants and that that we're going to transfer back in so I'm just using these for quick crops at the present time so this polytunnel um, we haven't actually done a lot with this poly tunnel. We can't get it open with one hand. So what I've got in here at the moment is just my tomatoes. Um, so I've got some tomatoes. How many? Three. I've got six tomatoes in here. And they actually seem to be doing really well. Got, they're probably ahead of all my other ones, which they've got a lot of flowers and, and that on. But other than that, um, in the summer when I'm on leave from work I'm going to get this we're going to put some uh, beds in each side and um, so then we can use this one properly for other things okay so then into our main polytunnel oh, let's 
so I'm doing a bit of watering. Um, so we've got herbs in that corner, and then we've got salad and that here. I think the tongue's just been watering, so it's a little bit uh, worse for wear. But this is salad, and there's rocket and stuff coming through, and uh, spinach. We've had already a um, I've already had a crop of everything and I've just emptied it and we started them off again. Um, that's the one of, one of the grapes and that's doing really well. Um, what we decided to do was put nasturtiums all up the sides and it looks absolutely beautiful. We love nasturtiums. And then this was meant to be my carrot bed but I've only got three carrots in it. That's all that's, oh sorry, four. That's all that survived. Uh, but I've got four carrots on that morning. Um, and then this with my broccoli and this has kept us in broccoli all winter and has just now gone to seed and I took a great big bag off last night because I'm going to make some Stilton and broccoli soup um, but that I would definitely be putting broccoli back into the polytunnel it's been brilliant um, and then this is my other I've got carrots in there not doing as well but it's still coming through I'm not, I don't do really well with carrots for some reason. That is the other, um, the other grape. And then in here I've got some beetroot and I've got a courgette in there as well. And I've got a little courgette over on that side as well. And then in here I've got tomatoes, which never do as well as the ones in the greenhouse. I don't think they really like it in here. So I might move them into the other greenhouse. And these are the um, cucumbers. I've got a few little cucumbers on there. Um, what's that? It's our fig. It hasn't made it back into the fruit cage. I might just leave it in here. I haven't decided yet. So that's that polytunnel. And then this is our wildlife area. Um, and in there is three ponds, but what we're going to do is take everything out and uh, make, have one massive pond with the wildflowers around the outside. So that's that. This is the other end of the herb and flower garden. That's the pond area. That's my little skeleton. And then obviously this is the greenhouse. I've gone quiet because there's somebody outside talking to Tom. So this is inside the greenhouse. And these are the, all the tomatoes there doing really well. I've got some lemon cucumbers up the top there. They're just starting to come through. And then these are some more crops ready to go out. My peppers, which Tom's uh, watered and they're all lying over at the minute. And then some more peas. And one too. And then that's just some extra stuff to go in. And that's that. So that's the allotment. And the girls are starting to come back up following me. I think they're after their call. My little chickens. They don't like me though, they run away from me. Thanks for watching.